Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Goat Life TV where we show you a little bit of our digital nomad life. Right now we're in the beautiful village of Jurgalan here in Kyrgyzstan and today we're gonna go on a horse trek with these horses behind us. We're heading up to Turnakaluko Lake. It's a natural scenic lake, about an hour and a half horse ride from the village here and it's about an hour and a half down as well so we're gonna be gone for about three, three and a half hours. From the lake we'll have beautiful views down the valley and then we'll come back down here and we're taking a car to Karakul where we're gonna experience some really cool cultural activities. Let's go! We've been riding now for about 20 minutes and we're outside the village and just as we're going through the village on the horses these little kids are running up on the side and yelling like hello hello to the tourists you know and then we came up here into the mountains a little bit and there's just this gorgeous scenery behind us look at that Doris is back there about 50 feet she's not as comfortable on the horse but I think she's having a good time anyway she's still got a wicked blister from the hiking yesterday but I can't wait to get up here and see this lake After about two hours on our horses, we've made it to Turnaluco Lake. The lake is so glass calm that it's just reflecting all the trees and the hills around us. Coming up here was gorgeous too, just like Beautiful. green meadows and gylos and looking back at the village of Jurgalan, it was absolutely breathtaking. And we're here for about 20 minutes, I think. There's a couple of cranes on the water here and apparently they've migrated from the Persian Gulf. So this horse trek's kind of the half day trek. We're gonna start heading back now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take us about four hours total. But if you do the full day trek, you get to go up there and see like a panorama of all the mountains around. Yeah, and a little bit longer of a path on the way up too. It's a perfect day trip. But my ass is sore enough. We're gonna start heading back down. <laughs> Let's go. We just finished up the horse trek. It was beautiful, it took about four hours. We went up and saw the lake and then came back down. It wasn't too difficult, pretty casual ride. The scenery up there is amazing. The view of the mountains and of Jurgalan itself was absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend the horse trek. Just riding the horses around the Jailo and the meadows up there, looking around, it's kind of like you feel like you're really in the middle of Kyrgyzstan. Mm -hmm. You're out here in this beautiful wilderness and you can really take advantage of it by doing these kind of treks around Jurgalan and this region. They have half day treks, full day treks, and they're also gonna be doing multi day treks as well. So you can do as long or as short as you want. I can't wait to come back here. I know. <laughs> so now we're gonna hop in the van and we're heading off to Karakul where, we, where we're gonna be doing some cultural experiences like yurt building and cooking classes and seeing the eagle hunters. Should be a lot of fun. This trip is not even close to being over. We've yeah. got lots left to see. So let's hop in the van and head to Karakul. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Rahat. Today we are in the nice place, this village called Kırdırdık or Dacian, how people call it. And we are going to see, to visit the local museum, which is right behind me. And we are also visiting Dungan local mosque, uh, which is very similar to the mosque in Karakol. And also later on we are going to have real Dungan meal. We just finished making the Ashlam Fu and now we're sitting down. We came in here to the living room on these beautiful rugs and we're having a floor setted meal. And look at the spread in front of us. So much food and it looks so tasty. Let's yeah. dig in. It's around 6.30 right now. We just left Karakul and we came here to Isakul Lake. This is one of the main sites here in Kyrgyzstan and we're going to be heading out on this boat behind us. We're going on a bit of a sunset cruise. There's going to be food and booze and a bunch of people and it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. We're also here with our buddy 
Nomadic Samuel. Been waiting to meet him for so long. We can't, we can't wait to join you for this. It's going to be so much fun. Party on the boat. Party time. We had a few too many beers last we night. We did. You can hear it in our voice. We're going to take it easy today. That happened. Let's get on the boat Let's and go hang out. Also, the other half of Samuel and Audrey is here. Hi, Audrey. Cheers, guys! We just finished off our awesome sunset boat trip and now we're heading up for dinner. We're gonna head to a little Kyrgyz restaurant that we ate at last night. Mm -hmm. We love this place, it's right in the town of Karakul. It has amazing food and wine, so we're gonna hit up round two. Let's do it. Make it, make it natural. Cheers. Cheers. So far we've been trekking on foot, horse trekking. We visited the town of Karakul where we did some amazing foodie experiences. And now we're heading to the south shore of Lake Issacol. On the way we're stopping here at the Seven Bulls, this beautiful rock formation is just off the main road. Then we're going to check out a waterfall and we're also going to check out a stunning valley on the way as well. When we get to the South Shore at Belltown Yurt Camp, we're going to learn how to build a yurt and see some eagle hunting. This part of the trip is all about cool cultural activities, so we can't wait to go out and explore more of this unbelievable country. Let's go! So after checking out a couple of canyons and a waterfall, we are now here on the south shore of Lake Issacol. Took us about seven hours to get here by car with all the stops that we did. And we've got this beautiful yurt camp behind us. This is called Belltown Yurt Camp and it's right here on the shores of beautiful Lake Issacol. This place is super rustic and gorgeous and we've bought ourselves a couple of beers, so... Look now how we're... big that beer is, guys. <laughs> big and cold. So now we're going to sit around with our friends Jared and Alicia. Yeah. And have some drinks on the beach. Let's do it. All right guys, so we're staying in this beautiful little yurt here. In Mongolia, they call these things gurs, but in Central Asia, they call them yurts. Mm -hmm. And they're really quick to set up and take down. It's been said that some people can do it in like 15 minutes, some really talented families. One of these things weighs about 400 kilos, but you can fit it onto a camel or a few horses. But we're gonna show you inside our yurt right now. It's pretty comfortable, pretty warm, and pretty cozy. Check out this fashionable door. We're gonna pop in. So, this is a pretty typical yurt. Uh, for tourists where there's no stove or anything like that, but it's just a few beds enough space to put our backpacks Some nice designs on the inner fabric in here and up to this inner dome So on a real family you're usually this dome will be set with a chimney going through it and the stove and the heat Will come up through there So when you're cooking and stuff all the smoke leaves the yurt through a little hole in the top there through a chimney or something like that But this is where we're staying tonight. We got electricity a few plug-ins some nice light in here. It's gonna be awesome. We just arrived here at a family home in Kuzukto village and we're going to be building this yurt here behind us. The family's here, they're ready to show us everything, they're all very sweet so we're excited to get started.
So we were pretty surprised. This yurt was built, thrown up really, really quickly, but apparently the world record for building a yurt is only eight minutes. So that's it guys, that's how you build a traditional Kyrgyz yurt. It's perfect for all seasons and I kind of wish we had them back in Canada. I too. Now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna enjoy some tea and some snacks with our new friends. We are finally gonna see Kyrgyz eagle hunting today. This is the last thing we're doing during our cultural trip here in Kyrgyzstan. We've seen so many amazing things so far and eagle hunting is one of the most traditional things for the Kyrgyz people. We've been wanting to see this for years. What they do is they have a massive eagle on their arm and they send it off and they'll be that eagle can go and hunt fox, can go and hunt gophers and bring it back to the owner. We don't know much about it right now so we're about to go and meet the master here and his eagle and learn a bit more. This is the eagle right here. Look how majestic and beautiful this thing is. I'm a little nervous having it this close to my face. We just watched this thing destroy a fox carcass. Got a lot of power in its claws and its jaws. And it's unbelievable that I'm holding it right now in Kyrgyzstan. All right guys, that's it. Our time here on the south shore of Issaquil in Kyrgyzstan has come to an end. We had an amazing time here learning all about the eagle hunting and yurt building and we also visited some beautiful natural sites as well like the fairy tale canyon and the cliffs and also waterfall. Yeah, this part of Issaquil is much different than the north end where we were last time. Over there it's much more built up. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of tourists, a lot of resorts and stuff like that. Here it's more natural. This Beltam yurt camp is set right here on the beach. It's a pristine environment and you're looking over this gorgeous lake all the time. I mean it's just stunning. Today you can see some of the mountains as well which really adds to the beauty of this place. But now we have to say goodbye and we're heading back to Bishkek. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. That's another episode of Goat Life TV. See you next week. Bye guys. Bye.